The Normie branch line was experiencing a surge in its fishing traffic. To help with the workload, the Fat Controller had assigned Arthur the large tank engine to work the branch line. Alongside Arthur's promotion, the Fat Controller purchased a new shunner to take over his pilot duties at the big station. This is Paxton, he said one night in the shed, gesturing to a small green diesel shunner. Hello, everyone. Smile, Paxton. It's so nice to be here. I've never seen so many steam engines before. You all look splendid. Such nice curves, too. The engines were reluctant to have another diesel on the island, but they found Paxton's Navit charming and quickly became friends with him, all except one. The sight of another diesel shunner brought back many unpleasant memories for Duck. The Great Western Engine found himself rather apprehensive of the new arrival, and soon became certain that Paxton was secretly plotting a devious scheme. Keep your eyes open. He would always advise the authors. You never know when he may strike. The engines just rolled their eyes. As the days went by, Paxton proved himself to be a very useful engine. He shunted the coaches and trucks perfectly, and all the trains left on time. Everyone was very impressed, but Duck still had his doubts. One spring evening, Paxton was having a rest when the yard foreman strode up. Where's your crew? He asked. They're seeing someone named Lou, replied Paxton. They both seemed in quite a hurry. Can you remind them to turn their clocks forward tonight? Asked the foreman. Ah, it's very important they remember to do so. Paxton agreed. When his crew arrived, Paxton relayed the foreman's message. Do you to have your clocks facing forward? His crew, puzzled, showed Paxton their pocket watches. Paxton saw that they were indeed facing forward and thought nothing more of the situation as he rolled away to the shed. But the next morning, Paxton woke to find his crew hurrying into his cab. What's the rush? He asked. We overslept, said the driver, and now we're late. Without another word, he opened the throttle, and Paxton hurried away to the yard. Trucks and coaches were in disarray everywhere, and Paxton had to work hard to clear up the mess. He shunted a rake of coaches towards the station, but in his haste, he didn't notice the points were set for the through platform, and that duck was coming the other way. Both engines braked hard, stopping just in time to prevent an accident. The fat controller came to see what had happened. Paxton's driver explained, Didn't you remember to set your clocks forward? Asked the fat controller crossly. They did, sir. Paxton interrupted. They showed me last night. Paxton's crew was puzzled, so the diesel recounted his conversation with the foreman the night before. The fat controller rubbed his eyes and explained what setting the clocks forward really meant. Paxton was deeply embarrassed. The mess was soon sorted out, but Duck had to stay behind and help clear up the yard. He did it on purpose. He frowned, staring disdainfully at Paxton. He tried to get me into an accident, and now I'm here, away from my branch line to help fix his mistake. Paxton tried hard to apologize, but Duck refused to listen. He was still brooding to himself when it was time for him to return to his branch line. I won't let that diesel cause any more trouble, he thought. I'll send him packing before he carries out any more of his plans. Just let him wait. As Duck snorted away, Paxton looked down at his buffers abashed. He realized that it would take a lot of time for him to make up for his mistake. But that's another story.